Good day. Welcome to Martinez Design. In this tutorial, we are going to develop something like a, a misuse commercial building. It comprises of restaurants and a supermarket between and offices. So sometimes a good client of mine sent AutoCAD like this for me and told me that okay, you want to model. You want me to model it in 3D. Actually, I've done it before, but I also want to use it to teach how to import an AutoCAD file into, Re into Revit and start from there to build some solid material. So let me show you the 3D aspect. I only have the picture. I couldn't find my my a Revit file any longer, but let me just show you what I was able to do right then. So this is the way the whole elevation was and then some part of what we have in this project. So we are going to develop more on this and find ourselves doing something fantastic and of true reality. So follow through as we start the project one after the other. So now we go to the ground floor the ground floor has a restaurant all through and all this kind of space the first floor we have it here at the same time we have another the second third floor everything comprised in one so we have an elevation i've done for it that was sent to me like that so i have to make model them in in what in revit i get the idea so but from now I want to teach you so I want I don't want to put everything together at once inside a space. What I would just want to do is that I want to take them one by one so that they will occupy their own space as they are in the Revit. So what we do is that you copy this, click on this and say copy control C on your keyboard or you right click and say copy to clipboard things like that so copy from clipboard is a copy and that will select so now you create a new you go ahead here and say new say new drawing so if you click on new drawing say click on set from here you just pick architectural metric so click open do not bother yourself about that go to model at the model now you right click and say from clipboard just say paste click on that so from there right click and say sue right click again say sue message so everything will come in place the reason why you, you brought only this is that so that every other thing you bring will come in place so i have this one as a first floor plan so you can decide to save that one control and say save save in any folder you know that you can be able to see it and say okay first floor first floor Good. so you save that and we go back there now to go and bring another one so go back to the to the main one so from the ground floor now so you bring the ground floor and say select everything like the way we did and right click and say from clipboard say copy so when you copy on clipboard go back again and say create new when you create new just go to the seats then say architectural matrix the reason why architectural matrix is that because I want to use uh, because of architectural matrix template that we are going to use. So if you are using something imperial like inches, you can do the same thing. So here now you right click and say paste from clipboard to paste. And so you there you say zoom, you right click again, zoom extent. So this one will bring you so there's no any attachment into this. Whatsoever you bring here is what you see. That is how you create a a different projects in what in the uh, AutoCAD for those who are familiar with AutoCAD design AutoCAD drawing so that is just a living method so you click here you say save save and to save it and call it ground floor good so that is how you continue to go about all the floors you are designing so the last floor which we are going to bring into this place is that we go back to the quadrant to that place where the file is and this is the floor file that the floor that reflect double floor like second floor and the third floor so you copy it as well and do what and you say 
control c from your keyboard so go the same way by saying open new so let it be the way we have been doing it before and say okay open go to model and control v put it there and go to zoom then say zoom extent so this has brought the the floor that comprises that two second and the third floor so we are going to use them now in our revit and bring every one of them in so you click here and say save save this one as what as a second floor so save so as you've done that now go to your revit and the refit, if the way to import it is that you bring it from where from somewhere to work with you so how do you do that here you have your home the the project being open and everything being set it does not matter whether what you just need is a foundation which is uh, i mean level one and level two and everything if you have already gotten this one in certain place but if you don't know how to set it you can check some of my tutorials that i've done in this project and you work with it one after the other so kindly subscribe and continue to follow as we progress into this tutorial so now what you do is that you quickly click on the import i mean insert in your insert you just use what is it called <coughs> you can use card link if you want to use card link but the best thing to use is that you import card so when you click on import card it's going to give you towards dwg file so you go to your desktop where you keep this program and you click on ground floor so in here you look at it so it's telling you that original auto dictates is what you need to do or what just two millimeters so i don't know what you do just use auto dictate so that you'll be able to preserve the original recommendation of the dimension for you so that you are not going to be chasing the uh, changing dimension original level and wherever you want to put it leave everything the way it is here original origin to internal origin so all those are going to be automatic creation themselves and this one will create it what according to what is in the dimensional space so what you're going to do is just look at it in this way preserve what's color so you leave the color the way they are if you want if you want to change it to black and white all well and good for you so it's just a dwg dwg5 format so if you have another format that you want to be like sketchup obj all these things so there are much more things that you need to understand when you are importing from into revit so you just click your but the only thing that's more important is your level layer which is all lay, all layer auto dictates why i say auto dictates units is that i don't want to specify what you don't know so auto dictates unit with that we match all these things together the original one you have there is what you going to bring so click open now so it's already open and this one this particular project is asking you to save you can decide to save it and save it the way you want it so let us save a new folder the project just let it be a what's it called commercial building sorry commercial building so from there do the same thing here commercial building good so you save like that so now you've brought this particular building into a system so go to 3d there is it so go on 3d i'm going to see everywhere you click you find it there they are all there and being what in one of the projects you have to make use of so this is the import of the project you have done and that is the that's how you import the project in what <coughs> in revit and that is the beauty of whatsoever you want to create as the foundation to your design basics so after you have done this you just extend and reorientate things change them the way it's supposed to be and as you have done this so you begin to do your drawing one after the other 
and get everything accurate so that is one so if you want to import the second one go to your go to your level two at the level two you go there again and say insert at the insert you click on import card at the import card you select the one you are importing the way we have done before this time around first floor in first floor auto and things like that so original preservation and things so just click open so you snap you to the points of which you have already done you see that you maintain the whole aspect let us go to 3d and see what you are talking about so you maintain the same origin because the same origin allow you so the same way the same pattern the same side can you see so so that if you design it's going to be more easy for you because why it did not bring any external or extra things so wherever you have the the line d it's the same way you have in it on the for so all the grid line everything snaps together you don't need any too much of adjustment so you want to create more level you can decide to create more level here and say create similar from here now you look at the 3000 and you create more the more you create the more this uh, the project browser keep increasing and things like that so you continue that way and you develop more levels along the height so that is how you continue to do what you need to do and everything is going to be generating itself so on the level three we are bringing the, the same thing so import card at the import card go to desktop search for second second floor and say open so the same way the same position the same where you're supposed to be so where you want to check whether they are real or not so what you need to do is to go to this place and say underlay underlay say k level use to this, say apply can you see so everything snap to the original version okay this one only a little bit leaving the space but don't worry we are going to adjust it later when we start to develop and build everything in places so that is how you do your your importation in what in a, from AutoCAD to 3D and you allow your project to start from origin and continue to develop to whatsoever level you think it will get to. So that is the beauty of what we are designing. So now we can start by projecting what we are designing. So how do you do it? This one is not the money of thinking or you just need that to bring the wall and begin to do them one after the other. So from here you see architecture, click on this say wall at the wall level begin to do so there are two methods to do something in a critical way so what you do is that is that you use line method like this you start drawing them one after the other yeah. so here you see that there are some certain space which which means that the wall does not have the same thickness of that particular one so what you do is that you add a edit and you say edit this place and change it to normal wall two to five which is six inches if you are using imperial in your country so that is it so you do that so from there you maintain this by using this to create whatever you want to create now i want to use this uh, particular peak line to do my own job so why am i using particular peak line is that it will allow me to take to choose a long line at once instead of me drawing it one after the other but i may have some issue with what with grid line here because it's going to follow the grid line step that does not matter later i can reduce them and get them to the sizes in which i want so i start as you have seen it i'm clicking selecting i'm clicking is selecting because it's selecting in a big level it's allow my work to be easy so in the later on i will just like getting so you can use face as well so if you do that so you just need to adjust and bring things sorry bring things to where it's supposed to be click just so that is how you work so you can do that it will be more faster if you have a a building that are more work on more connected in the volume so i can decide to continue to use now here you look at this when you go to elevation you see that the wall height 
is much higher which is wrong so what you need to do you can go to your 3d or be in the same level one and say I select all instance in this view select all the world then you change the height from here to 3000 so that you be able to adjust and if you adjust itself when you go back there you see that you already moving to the normal level. so the same thing you do here from every other side so if you want to say create similar create similar is going to create it and the level has already been specified so you continue with what you have started so you do it in such a way that okay it's suitable so you can continue in this manner and get all your work done without any issue or any problem so this this is the way i like doing my things i like doing that way so if you are the type that love cook method you can use that method but this is what i love doing at this level so you can decide to work like that again and say select select here it's select things in the way they are so here you do is that you just adjust it anything anyone you know that okay is not appropriate to what you are doing so adjust them that way adjust them like that so let's do this partition create every aspect that's needed to be created select this and save things in the way they're supposed to save so that's just it. if you are doing this based on what's interior so i want to do the whole project here that is why i'm doing the partition of inside like the one i did for my client i didn't do the full partition because i just only want to do the 3d exterior rendering like as i show in the picture of this so it's only the exterior i did in this picture so but since i'm not doing exterior i just want to model the whole building and everything so that people will learn and continue to understand the way of it works that's why I'm doing this here, one after the other. So take your time and watch, especially if you are a newcomer on our channel, kindly subscribe and continue to follow our daily basis. So we have a lot of uh, projects that we have done as well, so you can check through and watch through them one, by one after the other. So here, yeah, what I'm doing here is just a little bit of what of restaurants design so i'm going to explain the whole space for you in later let me just view this up and later see what we are doing so the function of restaurants restaurant is not just being designed based on the fact that uh, you bring lines together there are some certain uh, facilities that need to be need to be inputted and make it function adequately so such facility can never be what overemphasized or underemphasize in whatever language you think it's more relevant. But the basic thing is that you should always work on daily level so that you know that okay, this is the way the whole thing is. And another thing about commercial building, commercial building as such a building that okay in for a technical orientation, not that it's you are you're not only a single team of what of construction experts that need to be involved so if you're having a, a building like this you need to involve your structural engineer those who are going to create the structural de design and electrical engineer those who are going to work on creating electrical and mechanical aspect of it because this are the building involve a lot of what activities so since it involves a lot of activities are going to involve a lot of people that are going to be living there require not only one professional but a lot of professionals so if you are designing things like this you must have it in mind that you need to involve the way, the service of an engineer to look into the project for you and work on it adequately so if you are going to be working one after the other by the time you do your preliminary drawing you should be able to contact one engineer so that we able to look at it together before an editing is being made because in some countries building code is very thick and very important so when you follow our channel we are going to talk about building code very soon so we discuss what entails building code how why and um, building code is much important things like that so this is the basic rules of what we are creating for now so you should understand the logic and intensive aspects 
so this is how you grade your interior pattern of what of um, of restaurant so this is just the beginning of this project we continue with this project to the very level that we will develop it all that everybody is going to see feasibility and in fact make a more unique and elevated design that go far that go wonder and pleasing to the highs than what we have been seeing before so things like this just take your moments and watch through subscribe to our channel continuously and check this now in 3d we have the building partition so you can go here and see the shade so these are the things that we are developed so we are going to develop every individual in it and get a beautiful design at the end of everything we are going to have something pleasing to the eyes like this 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 so these are the beautiful elevation we are going to create and so much of what we are going to render into this project so thanks for watching please kindly subscribe to our channel and continue to follow us too much of our projects we did you can follow our channel and see just type continuous design and everything